Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. All right, today on the bench I'm going to tie you up the Anaconda. Um, if you're sight fishing for big rainbows on lots of marl bottom lakes, then this is definitely one you'll want to have in your box. Before tying the fly, make sure you have these materials ready. We use 6 aught red thread, some synthetic rabbit strips, some UV crystal flash and pearl, 6 mil booby tubes, and a size 6 hook. All right, so once you have the hook firmly secured in the vise, just build up a nice long base of red thread. I don't quite go all the way back to the bend with this one, but I go pretty close, just over the hook point. And taking the six mil booby tubes. Each tube is good for two flies, so you can cut it in half. Save that one for later. And cinch in the eyes. And before continuing on, I like to secure the eyes really strong, so I whip finish behind the eyes. I find with the rotary vise, it's easier just to turn it upside down. And you can really see, you can get really close to those eyes and give a nice whip finish off. Some people like to use a bit of glue to secure them even better. I'll use a little bit of UV glue. Make sure they don't spin anywhere. Then, sometimes I'll uh, wait till the end, but often it's e easy enough to trim off the corners of the, the booby tube before going on, and it just gives you less to hang that thread on. You don't need to get really precise with this, you just need to knock the corners off so it looks a little more round. They can't get a really good look at it, and hopefully the teeth will chew off the rest pretty soon. And work the thread back. And just grabbing three or four, five strands, anything in there, crystal flash, cinch one side in, bring it forward so it stays straight, circle the other side over, and tie it down the other side. You can leave these a little longer until you get the rest of the fly body tied up too. And keeping the fly thread at the rear, we take some synthetic rabbit. And I like to conserve my materials, so these ones don't have a true hair involved, actually. They actually look the same way forwards or backwards, unlike a real ha rabbit hide, which is quite nice. So I just drape it over the back of the vise, leave it just enough so it's just at the front of the booby tube, pull it back to right over top of where you've got your thread at the bend, and just cinch that in. And lifting the rabbit up, come underneath it, bring it really forward right up underneath the eyes. Lay this down, pull a bit of that fiber back as well, trim it in there. Cut, if there's a little bit of excess of the cord in there, I like to just chug, trim that back so there's no more than about an eighth of an inch in there. And that just 
lays down like a little bit of an extra body spot at the top of the front of the hook. Since that in a few times, I like to cut this one to be no somewhere between an inch and a half, inch and three quarter inches long. I like to reverse it again to finish off with the whip finish. So you can get a really good look at what's going on in there. And two or three times should be just fine. That's yeah, a nice simple effect to fly. Looks like a little white snake in the water. We've uh, developed a lot of patterns over the last year with um, COVID-19 causing everybody to be social uh, distance and, um, and uh, a lot of isolation time. So a bunch of weird stuff got developed over the vice and this is definitely a winner. It was um, it's named after my fiance Anna and um, like her, she's a real keeper. So that's a really nice fly and uh, definitely one to have if you're ever going sight fishing.